Scott Lowe. I am joined by Marty Sleva. Hey guys. It is CS 2014, and we are at Valve's Steam yeah. Machine press event. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much their sort of uh, their coming out party. Yeah, for yeah, pretty much all of the third party yeah. boxes. We've seen the beta prototype, sure. but now we're seeing like the actual retail units that you, the customer, will yeah. be able to go buy, yeah. pres presumably in stores, yeah. or order online. There's a uh, lot of them. Yeah, there's 14, a big list. That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. 14 different boxes. We have a list? There's so many. Yeah. I'm going to refer to a list. Please don't judge me. We got Alienware. We've got Alternate, Cyber Power PC. That sounds fancy. Digital yeah. Storm, Falcon, Gigabyte, iBuyPower, Material.net, Next, Origin, Scan Computers, WebHalen, Zotac, and Main Gear. Main Gear? It's a lot. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Felt like forever getting through well, that. We got to see them. They lifted, yeah. they lifted a curtain, and yeah. there was a bunch of boxes, and they ranged from little, like, GameCube-sized guys yeah. to big, just looked like a huge gaming PC. Yeah. I mean, most notably, I mean, for me, and I think for a lot of people, is the Alienware machine, because obviously, they produce at such a large scale. It's like such a small little box. Uh, you know, it's, it's way smaller than the PlayStation 4. Yeah. It's way smaller than the Xbox One. Yeah. But they're saying it's even more powerful, though. Like, they're, saying, they're not going to specifics, sure. but they're saying, like, you know, it's going to be based on Intel. And NVIDIA GPUs, yeah. and then uh, our Invi NVIDIA for the GPU, Intel for CPU, uh, and that it's going to be capable of 1080p out of the box, like native experiences, yeah. and even above that on certain games. Yeah, I mean, it, it was wild to see just the range of not only size, but size, power, price. Yeah. Like these things have a nearly two grand range of them. Yeah. And a lot is, of them are very customizable. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you look at something like the Origin PC, like this thing is capable of running SLI GTX yeah. Titans, which That's are crazy. like the most expensive graphics cards yeah. you can get. And I mean, that's kind of their style. Like, Origin does, like, build to order, like, super high-end machines. I mean, it begs the question, like, why would you want, like, a dedicated Steam machine yeah. as opposed to just a regular PC? I mean, that's still, that's still the lingering question on everyone's yeah. mind is, who is this for? Yeah. Like, the people who are going to build their own mega gaming PC yeah. are still going to do that. Yeah. I mean, I think the big hook, really, is the controller, which yeah. they also have here. Yeah. I mean, we've got, a, like, it's a lot of content that we've already seen, yeah. and, yeah. like, you know, we've had experiences with it before, but it's actually, in fact, your first experience yeah. with the Steam machine this controller. Is the, this is the first time I touched it. Yeah. Uh, I got to play a little bit of the original Portal, a little bit of Trine 2, and uh, I, obviously I did not put that much time to it, maybe 10 minutes a piece, yeah. uh, but it, I didn't get it <laughs> in that 10 minutes. It's uh, tough. I, mean, I love Portal. Portal's one of my favorite games yeah. of all time. I could beat that with my eyes closed. I was having trouble getting out of like the first chamber. Yeah. I mean, when I played it with the, for the first time, I, my assumption that it was going to replace the Xbox 360 gamepad sure. or like a, another style of like kind of yeah, traditional yeah. PC gamepad, but in reality, it's more like a replacement for the PC. Yeah. Like or the the mouse the, the keyboard. keyboard. Yeah. yeah. So I, I feel like the two games I tried it on aren't the games I would want to try that on. Yeah. Like I want to see if I can sit on my couch and play Civ Five. Yeah. Or play Dota Two. It's quite fact that I don't think I know how to play Dota Two. Yeah. So. I don't think anybody really knows how no, to play Dota Two. Um, <laughs> so another exciting thing, Gabe came out. Game yeah, out. yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't, you know, seen Gabe in a while. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he came out and kind of established the vision for yeah. Steam machines and like where it kind of came from. In typical Gabe fashion, it was like very, you know, very simple, very yeah. like, like relaxed and just sort of like speaking kind of frankly. Yeah. Took right. a couple funny pot shots. Yeah, yeah. He took a, a pretty big dig at Microsoft. Someone asked him like if uh, you know Valve could match uh, Microsoft's three million Xbox, Xbox One ones. sold, yeah. and he's like, well, they have catching up to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, it took a while for them to catch up. I mean, we're at sixty-five million. I mean, part of what, what we think. <laughs> yeah, so, 65 million. Yeah, yes. so, so clearly, Valve's pretty confident about yeah. their uh, show with the Steam machines. But we're just kind of scratching the surface yeah, here. Like, we're, absolutely. we're in the thick of it. Yeah. All of the information is on IGN. So if you want more from Valve and the Steam machines and also CES, yeah. stay tuned to IGN.com slash CES.